Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Wrestling 411. I know it's been a while, but we've had everything going on lately. I had to go get fitted for a tux. We've had this, we've had and this, and other things, and we just haven't had time. But we are back now, and we are ready to go with our Backlash prediction show. And, um... Anyway, I've got, a, I've got a rough draft of the card here that we're, we're just going to run through right quick. So let's just get right into this. Okay, for the curtain jerk, I'm going to say that it's going to be CM Punk versus Kane. And the reason they're having this match is because uh, Kane was, uh, or CM Punk cost Kane the money in the bank at WrestleMania 25. And if y'all saw that, y'all know how I feel about that event. It's really sucky. Anyway, they're having that match because this is starting a feud with them, and who knows, it could last a while, it could not. But Kane is in the wider stage of his career. He's not going to do very much more, I don't think, and he's going to win once in a while and lose once in a while. CM Punk is up and coming. He's, you know, people like him. We all love him. I love him personally. My cameraman loves him. We just all up. So my pick for that one is CM Punk. Okay. Moving on. Then they're probably going to do the Chris Jericho versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat match. This match is a leftover match from WrestleMania. Um, if you watch WrestleMania 25, you know that the Legends match was okay. And most of it was because of Steamboat. Because at 56 years old, God bless him, he can still lock up. And he can still go. I look for this to be a very good match. Steamboat, you know, he can fly. He can do pretty much anything he did in his prime within reason. However, we're not, you know, Chris Jericho doesn't lose very often. And that's sad. So I'm willing to bet that Rick, Ricky, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is going to put up a very good fight. But he'll end up losing. And they're going to put Jericho over. Just my opinion, though. Okay, moving on. Next, we have the ECW Championship. Christian versus Jack Swagger. Those of y'all who have watched my previous videos know how I feel about Jack Swagger. I can't stand Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger is not... He's not good. He's not, he's not good. And his teeth don't match his mouth. And he talks with a lisp. Yes, he had a good match with Christian the other night on ECW, but he should have won. He should have lost it. I, I can't stand Jack Swagger. I don't know why anybody does. But anyway, my my pick for this match is obviously Christian, as you can tell, because Christian deserves to be a champion on a brand. He should be on Raw, competing with the main event players like Randy Orton, Triple H, you know, Batista, who and Legacy, but. I just don't understand what they're doing with him because he can do wonders for ratings. I'm telling you. But anyway, my pick, Christian, because he deserves it. Okay, moving on. Um, somewhere, disregard that. Somewhere uh, there's going to be Santina on the kiss cam just for comic relief. So I don't know when they'll stick that in there, but I'm going to go ahead and dress it now. This whole angle was stupid. The stupidest angle WWE has ever done. Because they took what was a great idea at WrestleMania 25, a Miss WrestleMania match, and they could have gave it to somebody like a like, you know, Trish Stratus or a Beth Phoenix. And they had a man come out dressed in drag. And then, you know, us as fans, they're trying to make up, they're trying to insult our intelligence by saying that Santino and Saint Santino are two different people. Come on, we don't like that angle. Yes, it's funny, but that's you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> Wrestling should be funny twenty five percent of the time and serious seventy five percent of the time. <coughs> it shouldn't be half and half. Just in my opinion. And anyway, they're going to probably put him on the kiss cam, and then they're going to have two guys making out. So, which, ah. Since when did WWE become Brokeback Mountain, cameraman? I don't know, but it's aggravating, isn't it? Yeah. 
So that's that's just that, and I don't really understand that. Okay, now on to the main event ones: uh, the World Heavyweight Champion John Cena versus Edge. As it stands now, SmackDown has no World Champion because John Cena did not get drafted to SmackDown, and Randy Orton stayed on Raw. So SmackDown needs a champion. However, me, me and my friends, we all know how they pull the wool over our eyes and they make Cena come out on top every single time. That's probably how it's going to happen. What I would like to see happen is Edge win it and take it to SmackDown. Because John Cena should be feuding with Randy Orton after the Triple H thing has ran its course. However, they probably won't do that. They'll probably put Cena over. But my prediction, what I would like to see happen, is Edge come out on top. And last, but certainly not least, the, uh, the WWE Championship, Sean, uh, Shane McMahon, Triple H, and Batista versus Randy Orton in the Legacy. This is a very weird match. This looks like something you'd see on TNA with all the goofy rules they get going on. Agree, cameraman? Mm-hmm. Because whoever pins is world champion. No. Unacceptable. Stupid if you ask me. Yeah, unacceptable. But the reason most people said that Randy Orton did not come out on top for WrestleMania was because, and this is just an inside joke, that uh, Triple H did not want to job to Orton. I don't know if that's true or not, but it sure is funny because, you know, I, okay, I'm married to the boss's daughter. I'm Triple H. I can do whatever I want to. Ha, ha, ha. Stupid. Unacceptable. Anyway, what I would like to see happen is Randy Orton finally come out on top. That's what we all want. That's, all, that's what we've all been praying to for this because Randy Orton, I've said this I don't know how many times, in my blogs, my videos, everything I've ever put out there, he is the best on Raw right now. He should be world champion. He can sell merch. He can sell tickets. He can do mic skills. The only thing he doesn't do very well is the finisher because his finisher is not really that unique, but we can work on that. He sells merch. He appeals to people. We all love to hate him. He should be the Hill champion. Anyway, that was the sum up of Backlash, and I'll see you next time with episode 10 of Wrestling 411. Maybe this time we won't go two or three weeks in between the show. Again, I apologize for that. Also, I've been doing some movie reviews here of lately that have got very positive reviews. Be on the lookout for more of those. So until next time, I'm Blue Rain, and Kevin is the man behind the camera. That's me.